Hello there, Moten Test of the Week, and this week I'm going to be testing another one of these uh, high performance in runner motors. Um, I found a little while ago that they've started doing uh, these are basically copies of uh, the Ghoul RC uh, motors. So, and they're on eBay and they actually ship to the UK now. Uh, they weren't shipping the original Ghoul RC motors to the UK a little while ago for some reason um, but they've got yeah all different um, sizes and they're pretty good price but these are copies of them but they've got pretty much the same spec um, and I decided to get one of these uh, to give it a try I've, I've had this in a ducted fan a uh, 64mm fan and it was amazing um, so I thought I'd get another one and see if I can actually put a prop on it which is <laughs> going to be crazy um, so it doesn't say a make name it just says high performance uh, four pole brushless senseless motor um, you know, for power boats uh, but the size of this one is a 2948 and it's 4800 kV so it's quite a high kV but um, I thought I'd get one for about 15 quid that's a pretty decent price um, so let's go down have a look at the specs and right so yeah four pole in runner and it's got it says precision balance rotor smoothness and best reliability and maximum RPM <laughs> So uh, it says capable of 60,000 RPM, but I've uh, I've run it at higher than that. Um, it says a maximum of a thousand watts, which is pretty good for a this size motor. Uh, it says max voltage of 12 volts, uh, but I run this motor on a four cell in the ducted fan, and it handled it just fine. So. This should be interesting. Um, it's got a 3.175 millimeter shaft. Uh, it comes with four mil golden bullet, bullet connectors. It says it weighs 120 grams. Uh, I should have weighed it actually. I didn't. I don't remember weighing it, so uh, I'm not sure if that's exactly right. So yeah, I'm gonna give it a go on three cell. See what it does on three cell, and then possibly run it on a four cell with a propeller. So. This should be crazy. Um, I still haven't got round it yet. I'm hoping to make a, another pylon racer. Um, I did a little, another video a little while ago with a um, Black Mantis or Kada motor uh, that I was going to make a uh, new pylon racer for. A bit bigger than the other slips I made. And um, I was going to fit it with, what was it, 3,900 kV. Uh, Black Mantis in runner, um, so I think I might make it with that first and get it um, flying, see how it goes, and then possibly I could swap over to this motor uh, for much, much, much higher speed. <laughs> so um, yeah, let's give this one a try. Uh, I'm going to try a different ESC with this one. Uh, it's pretty cheap ESC but um, you can normally get away with using uh, cheap basic ESC's with in runner motors um, and it's the Hobbywing Skywalker uh, 2 to 6 l 80 amp uh, ESC uh, it's got a 5 volt 5 amp back um, and if you look at the specs it's got a 100 amp burst rate on it so that, uh, that should be good enough to cover it for me um, because let's have a look so where are we so it says a thousand watts at 12 volts so let's get the old calculator out so if you've got a thousand watts and you divide that by 12 uh, should be able to take a maximum amps of 
83 amps so let's uh, see what it can take and check the temperatures and see how it goes well, it is a bit colder in the workshop anyway so let's see how this goes uh, could be a nice little fun motor right let's get it on the thrust stand and give it a try all right here we go and uh first prop i'm going to try because uh, this is a complete unknown actually um i'm normally quite good at guessing what size prop to put on motors but um with this one i'm just going to start pretty small and uh this was a tgs or no i think this one was actually an emp um 4.1 by 4.1 prop um tgs is the copy of emps and basically uh, this is what i had on my uh, mini slipso and uh, it's yeah 4.1 by 4.1 cut down to three and a half inches so it's it's pretty small and <laughs> so basically i'm going to start off with this and see how it goes so uh so that's that um the highest C3 cell I've got is a Zippy 2200 milliamp 40C 3 cell and got the Skywalker 80 amp ESC so let's give this a quick blast on 3 cell just to see what it does Three and a half inch prop. Fifty six point eight amps, six hundred and eleven watts. Honey, <laughs> motor stone cold. So I think I can go up a bit in prop size. Let's have a look. Okay, this is a Gemfan 4045 carbon reinforced nylon prop. Still on 3S. Oops, let's see what we get here. Wow! That was loud. I'm going to do, do less current. <laughs> That's amazing. That's crazy. I doubt there's much temperature in the windings, but let's have a look. cold in the workshop at the moment. Yeah, it's only 15 degrees in here at the moment. Right, so let's, uh, let's try another prop. Okay, this is a full size uh, TGS 4.1 by 4.1 and still on 3 cell. So let's see what this does. Probably drawing a lot more current. Thrust there. Blimey, only seventy two amps. I think I could probably go up even higher. Three degrees. Right, so let's, uh, let's go up in prop size again. Okay, here we have a 4.5 by 4.5 TGS prop. Uh, this is probably going to push it over the limit, 
But let's see how it goes. Uh, it's on three cell. Pushing that battery beyond what it can take. I need to get myself some higher C3 cells. <laughs> Temperature's hardly going up at all. To get myself some higher C free cells. Right. Um, so basically, the motor seems to be taking it, but my battery isn't. <laughs> so let's uh, stick a four cell on there. See what happens. Okay, I'm just going to test those uh, these three props again in order, but on four cell and so I'm starting off with the small three and a half inch TGS well yeah, EMP prop so the uh, 4.1 by 4.1 that's cut down to three and a half inches and because I wouldn't be able to get much bigger battery in the model I'm using these I've got these these are new uh, these are ZOP power it's 1800 milliamp four cell but it's 65C, so <laughs> hopefully it will uh, be able to take it. Let's give it a try. Crikey. <laughs> that sounded a bit, um, sounded a bit odd. Me. Yeah, that voltage dropped twelve and a half volts on a four cell. That's not good. It's making a bit of a funny noise that was. Degrees. Hmm, 26 degrees there. Um, right. So I could try going up a bit in prop. Let's see what we can try. Okay, I've got the Gem Fan 4045 carbon reinforced nylon prop on uh, but a bit unsure about this one um, so I've put the fiberglass glass shield on just in case this prop explodes <laughs> hopefully it won't but let's give it a try Crikey, I'm amazed. <laughs> These props are pretty damn good, I tell you. <laughs> Alright. Apologies if you're deaf <laughs> uh, from that noise. My ears are ringing. 
Right, so let's try the next prop, see what we can get on that. Okay, I've got the uh, the full size TGS 4.1 by 4.1 prop on there now. Still on the 4 cell. Uh, I haven't bothered topping it up on these tests just to uh, let's see how it goes. Sagging quite a bit there. Eighty nine amps, one thousand and ninety eight watts. <laughs> Oops. Everything off the table. Let's uh, yeah, 30 degrees there. Either. Right, let's uh, give this another couple of runs, see how hot it gets. up. That made the speed controller a bit warm, I can feel it. Ooh, that's a bit warm. <laughs> well, I say 39 degrees. 40 degrees there. That is a bit, is a bit warm. That's the speed control light. Right? Thirty-three degrees there. Just feel a bit warm. I'd want to push it that hard. <laughs> that suddenly went up there, didn't it? Maybe it needs a drop of oil on the bearings or something. Anyway, I think I'll leave that there. Um, so I think these, uh, uh, what are they, the, the, well, the copies of the Ghoul RCs, um, I think they're pretty, pretty much the same, really. They just don't have Ghoul RC on them. <laughs> um, so whether or not this just a different um, company's got them but they're not using the name don't know but they seem alright that's uh, some crazy RPM going on there um, right so that's the end of this vid right that's my test of the week give us a thumbs up if you like this video and uh, subscribe and uh, watch all my other motor test vids. I've got quite a collection of them now. Still trying to do one video per week. So uh, I shall see you again next week on Motor Test of the Week. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.